Hey everyone, my name is Nick Sulo. I'm an artist with a background in visual effects, working for the film and TV industry for the past decade. I'm also the co-creator of Exulo, that's known for creating the techno dystopia surreal artworks. In today's video, I want to show you all how to create a character scene with animated hair from start to finish. So we're going to assemble a stylized scene uh, with a character in it using V-Ray uh, for Maya, and then add an animated hair and After Effects to give some motion and movement. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into DAS 3D right away and just start uh, bringing in a character. Uh, with this one, I want her to kind of have like long flowing hair, which kind of makes sense to have it animated. And so I'm gonna kind of go ahead and position it in DAS so it's kind of flowing off to the side. So already kind of nice shape and form happening there. So when I go ahead and I start animating it, it kind of makes sense that it's like kind of blowing off to the side. So just kind of make sure to do that here in Daz already. And then kind of want this character to be like this kind of female Banff. So she's kind of holding this gun. Maybe eventually she's like walking in the desert and there's like some destruction, burning buildings or some cars. Like she just kind of walked away from combat it's kind of add some context and a little bit of a story to the artwork um at this point it's just mostly about tweaking positioning and changing a few little minor details up before i'm gonna go ahead and drop that into maya so i just want to make sure everything's looking pretty solid with the character's uh, position and her overall pose maybe adjust a little bit of a facial expression so she's kind of grinning maybe a little bit of an anger there but yeah, overall, I feel like this is in a good spot now. Most importantly is the shaping of the hair. And what's great about Daz 3D is it comes with these already pre-built shaping tools for hair. That way we can kind of already start having it flow off to the side. And it's a good starting point when we want to actually start illustrating and animating on top of this. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just drop it into uh, Maya and start lighting and texturing it. Now that we're in Maya, I dropped in the character and started introducing some lights. So we want maybe a light going off on screen right. Let's get some nice lighting in there. And then I'm going to use Quixel Bridge. What I want to do, since it's like an empty desert highway scene, I'm going to just drop in a uh, ground plane uh, with like an old destroyed road. Kind of goes off and vanishes into the distance. So also introduce some other materials like the dirt side road. Uh, some rock and pebble, start filling in the ground plane so it kind of makes sense. So it's just about uh, adjusting these little tweaks before I start introducing some other elements into the scene. So kind of, since it's going to be desert, I'm going to go ahead and drop in some large canyon uh, rocks and then ch uh, change the gra dirt ground back to maybe an orange hue so it matches the uh, uh, canyon rocks. And at this point, it's just about filling in the scene with other little rock details. That way, just the composition doesn't feel so barren and empty. And it kind of helps with um, the focus being on the character. So I'm just introducing some other small rocks. And pretty much at this point, I'm going to also bring in, say, like a burning car off in the distance. Uh, that way, it kind of gives some nice context and a bit of story of who this character is and maybe what just happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing those elements in. So I went ahead and grabbed this uh, asset off of CG Trader. It's an old burnt down truck that I can put off into the distance behind the main character. And since I want this to be more of an illustrative uh, piece of work, I went ahead and I'm gonna pump up the colors just a little bit more, oversaturate the blues and the orange in the scenes. And that way, combine that with the Toon Shader and V-Ray, um, it would already kind of have that illustrative uh, aesthetics to it. I'm going to go ahead and also introduce some colors into the main character and just pretty much almost wrap up on this scene in 3D. That way, we can eventually bring it into Photoshop and have different render passes as well. We can kind of tweak around with the, the Toon Shader on its own separate layer, layer as well as like the Z-Depth pass and... Just give it more of that stylized look. And so let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop right now. All right, now that we're in Photoshop, I took all the render passes and just starting to layer everything together with like the Z depth, add some nice atmosphere in it, fill in the sky with a blue sky, and then going back into V-Ray Tune Shitter uh, render pass and then fine tuning the line work and all the rocks in the background. It's just uh, being able to push even further that I wasn't able to get out of the render pass. 
And it's always nice to be able to fill the sky up with some clouds. So I went ahead and started on that. Now my focus is more on the character and getting all the line details in the character that I wasn't able to in Maya. So just going ahead and finesse that up and get as much detail as I can in our main subject in this scene. And now once I'm done with that, I like to kind of go back in and in the sky, add a little more dynamic clouds in there, or some nice shadows and lights, just make it feel like it's a little bit more part of the scene. And then at this point, um, I'm doing individual hair strands on uh, layers. There's probably about 10 layers to 15 layers of individual hair. This way, when I bring in to do the After Effects uh, script, I'm able to animate each of those strands blowing in the wind. It's going to go ahead and wrap up on the hair because it's pretty much ready to drop it into After Effects and start using that hair script so it's uh, get some animation going and some final compositing work. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into After Effects. So now that we're in After Effects, I took the Photoshop file and dropped it in with all the hair uh, strands on their own separate layer. That way I can position and scale them properly so that it sits in composition correctly. And now I'm going to go ahead and use the Puppet Pin tool. What's important is when I make sure is uh, I need to set up the Puppet Pin tool for each of the hair strands. Uh, so I go ahead and I rig each of those hairs. That way... When I select all the hairs, I can run the AFP hair rig, which I'll include a link in the bio. And at this point, I just want to make sure that everything's working properly, like the hair blows correctly. I can adjust like the velocity and the speed of the hair and how quickly it blows in the wind. So at this point, I think the hair is working uh, pretty nicely. So I can just move on to the next steps. Uh, animating the clouds, adding back in all the um, details and line work and some more additional hair detail as well. It's just the final stages, make sure that the uh, composition is working nicely and introducing some other elements. Like I like to bring in some smoke uh, plume from the vehicle in the background. I'm just playing around and adjusting that. So adding in some fire as well. So everything's kind of working nicely and some atmosphere in the foreground, kind of playing with some other effects. But I think at this point, um, the artwork's pretty much final and the animation's looking good. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here's the final render. Uh, you see that we got the blowing hair in the wind working pretty nicely. Uh, the AFP hair rig does a really great job on simulating that effect. So I know that there's some YouTube tutorials out there that they cover in depth of how to use this script. So I definitely recommend on diving in and checking out that and how to rig um, hair and animate and get this nice simulation going. So in addition to the animation, I also added in some moving clouds in the background. And you can kind of see the clouds are moving a lot slower since they're way back in, in uh, Z depth. And that has to do with the relation between how far they are uh, to from the camera itself. So with the hair being a lot closer to the camera lens, it's going to be moving a lot faster. And obviously even the, this plume of uh, smoke and fire that I've also added in addition to that. So and as well as adding in some foreground smoke plumes that kind of come in and out of frame, so it adds another layer to it. Might be a little hard to tell, but I added also in some film grain in there and some final color correction tweaks. So yeah, this looks pretty great. And this pretty much covers the entire video on how to um, animate and create a pretty stylized uh, illustration straight from 3D into After Effects. So uh, make sure to keep an eye out. There's going to be more tutorials to come here on NVIDIA Studio. So definitely subscribe and like this video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then.